Taking action in the fight against Parkinson's disease. Hello, I'm Kelly Lynn and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me right now is Lynn Schwartz. He is with the Parkinson's Action Network and we're so happy that you're here. Thank you for having me. Tell me when you were diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Actually, it was 10 years ago this month and uh, I was diagnosed uh, March 3rd, 2003. I was the age of 43 years old. I was working as an attorney in Baltimore. I uh, was a scout leader. I'm a, uh, I'm a uh, musician in a local jazz band, and uh, I've tried to continue all that for the last 10 years, even despite the disease. What do you play? I play trombone, and it's, it's got quite a vibrato, I might say. <laughs> In fact, too, too much, my band director says. <laughs> okay. All right, so how are you doing? Well, I'm doing as well as I can do. I'm actually maintaining, a, it's been a progression. I'm on medication. It's increased to quite an extreme at this point. I'm doing pretty well today, uh, you know, uh, but uh, it's an hour by hour. Uh, condition. Uh, sometimes I'm fatigued, sometimes I'm unable to lift things, I'm unable to swallow. Um, I, have, I have difficulty in, in, in some of those areas. So it's progressed beyond the initial uh, symptoms, which were essentially tremor uh, and also rigidity, um, balance issues, and, um, and, and other issues like that, that it first manifests itself with. Unlike some other Parkinson's individuals, I didn't suffer the emotional uh, problems that they've had. Some have had dep deep depression issues as well, and they're starting to research a lot of that as well. This has had a major impact not only on your life, but your family's life. Absolutely. My, uh, my wife is, although she, I don't want to call her my caregiver, you certainly don't marry somebody that you want to be dependent upon. She's gone to great extent to modify her schedule and her abilities to to be on call if there's a problem, you know, me getting from place to place, from appointment to appointment. I have a vigorous uh, schedule for exercise and, and maintenance um, because I'm proactive in terms of my care. Um, I'm still on my own still. My children, um, they've had to deal with it as well. They've had to learn a whole new vocabulary and they're now, in, one's in college and one's in high school, so they're, you know, they're self-sufficient. We've gotten to that, that stage, um, but they're doing very well. Thank you. Uh, the month of April is Parkinson's Awareness Month. What do you want people to know about this disorder? Well, I, I want them to know that it's important that they get out there in their communities because there's people like me that are there, uh, young, young people. It's an early onset disease as well. It's not just people over 50 uh, anymore. Um, we're, we're discovering more and more people as early as age 25 that I've met that have been diagnosed with Parkinson's. Um, and it affects their in the community. These people are contributors to the community, just as I have been. And uh, we, these are our friends, our relatives, our classmates, uh, and, and these are people that need the help and assistance of the community. For Parkinson's Awareness Month, I would ask that you get out there and participate in research if you can. Um, there's a number of unity walks in, in April. It's a nice time of year to get out and walk in the parks. I know there's a big one up in New York. There's some in the local communities. Um, there's also some local outreach being done by support groups. You can check that all out on the website, of course, for Parkinson's Action Network. And, I'm, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that, if you could. Yes, exactly. Research dollars are being threatened right now because of potential federal cutbacks, which could really dramatically affect uh, learning about possible cures and, and finding out what actually causes Parkinson's. You are urging people to contact their elected officials. That's correct. Uh, we as a community uh, think it's important that we contact our congressional as well as local representatives and stress the importance of the health needs of, of our community for chronically ill. Make sure that there's research dollars. NIH has a tremendous uh, program. They're doing cutting edge research. The Army is doing it for veterans as well who are coming back from war with Parkinson's type behavior. And uh, we, we, need to, need to, we need those monies to continue for Lynn, research. Lynn Schwartz, thank you again. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye -bye.